Welcome to Yacanic. Today we have a Chevy Cruze 2014 with a 1.4 liter Ecotec motor in it. I'm going to show you how to replace the starter on this vehicle. So first off, to be able to replace the starter, you want to make sure you disconnect your negative battery cable and then um, give it time to de-energize so that when you're touching the electric components on the starter or anything else, you don't ground it out and short anything or harm yourself. Once you've done that, then of course you'll raise up the vehicle and be able to uh, remove any splash shields that you may or may not need to remove um, to gain uh, access to where the starter is. The starter on this vehicle is on the back side of the engine right down through there. But the easy way to get to it is up from under the, the bottom side. And so we're going to go down from the bottom side and get access to our starter to be able to replace it. All right, so down here, down below, is where the starter is. You'll see this is our alternator, and then the starter is right back there. A couple rounds of some electrical stuff to undo, and then we can get that out of the way, and then be able to gain access to the, uh, the starter components. So here we have a size 13, which is the power that comes from the... Uh, the battery cable, and so that's our positive that we need to undo. And now that that is a uh, pretty stiff, so I'm going to actually take the uh, the connection off from the uh, alternator to be able to get that just be able to move that whole wire out of the way to give us better access to the components. And then if we pull this that way, be able to free that. We also have 113 down here, which this is a, a stud and a, uh, um, a bolt that holds a ground connection to the uh, engine right there. Right, so we've got that um, electrical out of the way. Um, this right here, we can go ahead and undo this, which this is a, um, this is the wire that goes to your um, O2 sensor. A bunch of this is just to get stuff out of the way, make it a bit easier. Unhook that other wire that goes there. And then I'm gonna slide this up. And we have a 10 millimeter here with the, the wire that comes to the solenoid. And then we free that. And now all of that will lay right down here out of our way enough for us to get the other components undone. We have this uh, bolt here, the stud and bolt, and then we have one that's going to be up on the top that we'll need to get undone. And that is a 13 also. So I'm reaching around up top here, being able to get access here, or you could use an extension with a, uh, a ratchet. Alright, so the top bolt seems to be a uh, 12 millimeter. Alright, so the top bolt is not a 13, or 12, it's a 13. Just wasn't able to get on it very well with a ratcheting wrench. Because the heads are a little bit bigger than your normal. Alright, 
All right. So we've removed the bolt. All the bolts will hold the starter in. Now you'll be able to do is pull that starter out and be able to situate it and pull it right down here through this hole here. And that would be the removal of your starter on your Chevy Cruze. More importantly, 1.4 liter motor. If you have the um, four wheel drive version of a 1.4 liter motor, depending on the vehicle it's in, it's a lot tougher to get this out. You don't have as much space from down here because you have the transfer case. And so what you'll do a lot of times is take out your uh, alternator and then you're able to take it all out uh, through where the alternator is. So just so you know, and so that is your um, removal of your starter. So we went over the process to be able to remove it. And now we'll go over the process to be able to install your starter with a new one. Um, if you're replacing it because it, it no longer works. So the install is fairly straightforward. Um, I'm doing this all from down under the bottom, being able to then bring our starter up and we have enough space to rotate it in place and to get it kind of situated in like that. And so I'm going to take the, uh, the bolt that is a bolt slash stud and start that in there first. All right, now we have the top bolt, which is our size 13. We'll be able to get that installed in, in there. Left the bottom one. A little bit loose, just in case you need some adjustment on the, uh, to get that top one in. It's in and started. And now you can tighten it up. All right, we've got the top starter bolt tightened. Um, finish tightening the bottom one here and then be able to put all our electric components back on. Okay, we have a, a ground here. And then we have the power wire from the battery um, to put onto the uh, starter and the alternator. If you happen to take the one off of the alternator, it give you a little bit more access there. Okay, let me tighten those up. Now we have these, this connector, just to slide it back in its little uh, holder, and then we can reconnect this wire for our alternator and then the solenoid wire and the 10 millimeter to attach that. And then to be able to reconnect our oxygen sensor connector just tighten that or clip that on there and that's all the uh, connections that we need to make down here we of course make sure that everything we did tighten up so that we don't have any problems with our electrical system working and functioning to be able to charge our vehicle and also for our starter to be able to work uh, thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.